What's up guys and welcome back to Destiny Updates. Jason Jones, Myth, Urban Legend and a Unicorn according to IGN. For Bungie Day they released part 1 of an interview with Jason Jones, the co-founder of Bungie Studios who has been in the gaming industry for over 20 years and the person most responsible for Halo. Jason Jones is so reclusive of the press and gaming media that this was his first interview in 11 years. He has not allowed himself to be profiled by the media since he was named one of Time Magazine's top 100 influential people in 2005. Ryan McCaffrey starts by trying to ask Jason Jones what a typical day for him was like. Jason Jones starts by bringing attention to the Bungie team, saying, I think the ideal case where everybody's happy and we get the best outcome is when everybody not just has a responsibility, but really feels that they have control and authority over what they're working on. He does get to his personal job then, where he states, I have the job of making sure everybody's doing something that's going to fit together at the end. We have a number of design teams. A lot of the times their pieces don't even get plugged together for months and months at a time. So I'm doing my best to make sure that they meet up when they come together. Ryan asks, so is it your job to unify the vision that you lay out? Jason replies saying, my job is to take those things, people that Bungie are working on, and bend them in the right direction. Even if they're not running in the game yet, even if they're still on paper, even if it's still an idea in somebody's head. Skipping ahead a bit, he says how his ideal situation would be that the game could be built without him. He thinks that this is really important because then he is able to be in a position where he can look at how it's coming together and change pieces he believes needs changing. He goes on to say that if he actually starts putting in the screws and actually making some systems work, then he loses sight of that. They go on to talk a lot about the Halo 1 pistol and how Jones influenced its final design. At the end of it, Ryan asks does that mean he will take the credit or blame for the most controversial weapon in Halo history? Jason answers, I will take the credit and blame for the pistol in Halo. I'll take the blame for everything in Halo. He then says that he feels like design is really about the details and not the looks. Continuing on, Jones says, Where I can, I will stay at high level. Where I need to, I will go to low level. My engagement across the team is, Where's the place I can add more value at what level of detail? Then I'll do it and get out as soon as I can. We move on to a part where Ryan McCaffrey says it sounds like he signs off everything in the game. Jason Jones starts by saying, it is true that if I don't believe a piece of work fits into the larger game, and it's your responsibility, then we're going to have a conversation. We're going to figure that out, and I'm happy that we do not have an official sign-off process on everything that parades in front of me. Continuing on, he says that it is really important that I am able to see everything, because we are talking about an experience that won't actually come together for years. Skipping ahead, he says, I forgot the word you used, sign-off or something like that? I don't think of it in those terms, I guess, but to know that it's my fault if we put this game together and people don't want to play it, I take that really seriously. So it seems like he's pretty much the boss and ultimately considers himself responsible for the game. And then coming to the end of part 1 of the interview, they ended up going back to the Halo 1 pistol again, with Jason Jones taking responsibility saying, I did say it was my fault, blame or credit. Usually it's the blame, credit is somebody else. So it sounds like Jason Jones likes to take the blame if anything goes wrong, but feels that others deserve credit for the game's accomplishments. Now that's it for part 1, I know that it may have been a bit boring, but I'm sure that part 2 and part 3 will be more interesting and will contain more information about Destiny. You can find those for yourself on IGN.com on Monday and Tuesday, and I will do breakdowns like this one here on the channel once they are released. Also, there is just one more quick thing. Yesterday, for Bungie Week, they released 8 minutes of music by Marty O'Donnell and Michael Salvatore. It played at E3 in their booth. It is pretty awesome, and you can find a link to it in the description below. That's all for today. I also do Stars Battlefront news on my channel, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. There is an annotation at the end and a link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next update.